Hello world and welcome to another machine learning tutorial. Today we are going to see what are the top seven machine learning methods which you should know like a data scientist. My name is Harris and let's get started. For more tutorials and content please hit the subscribe button or leave a like or comment there. What are the top seven uh, machine learning methods? There you have first of all the classification, the dimensional reduction, regression, uh, clustering, transfer learning, neural nets and deep learning and reinforcement learning. So first of all we have classification which you can use for example if you have a lot of features and you want to classify for example some data from, from patients or if you have for example different classes then you can basically use this and then you have classes represent by 0 or 1 and then you are going to predict what kind of class this is or what kind of state the patient has let's say that's why you can use classification the PCA the principal component analysis you can use if in this case for example if you have five different features or more then you try to reduce the features within uh, feature selection so only the best fitting features uh, will be used to represent it only for example in this case in a two-dimensional graph like in scatter plot that's why you have only pc1 and pc2 axis to use the best fitting features Regression you can use basically on continuous data or let's say stock prices or um, house prices or something like this where you can for example here you see the blot, blue dots and then you, you try to predict basically the next um, time shift or the next 30 days or so you try to predict uh, new values from a continuous data Clustering you can basically use when you have, for example, a case of unsupervised learning. You don't know basically what kind of model you will use. Then first of all, you just put a classifier. Uh, you just try to cluster your data. Here, for we, for example, have three classes. And that's where the iris data set where we just try to find the three groups. And afterwards, we find the clusters or the groups we can let's say apply a model transfer learning is basically if you see the first step for example on the left you start with your data you try to prepare the data you choose a model classifier regression etc you train your model evaluate afterwards to check what kind of accuracy it has and then afterwards you evaluate it within yeah, the accuracy then you kind of tune the parameters in your model and then you have a prediction if you have a really good model you can for example save it and reuse it or you you reuse this kind of knowledge with a new data or you can just take um, some kind of already good models which have a really good accuracy from a, let's say model so and you can just pick one good model, let's say from Google and just use it for your data. But of course, these models you can also evaluate, you can also tune it afterwards to have a really good prediction. Neural nets and deep learning is a really new topic. Uh, it started up to uh, from 2000 and got really popular from 2007 2008 when the computing power got higher and better and we had a lot of data that's why um, we started first of all with machine learning and then afterwards deep learning was getting really more and more popular and getting more and a better accuracy like before so on the left you have input data and then on the right the uh, output data you have hidden layers so in this case two hidden layers but you can of course use a lot of hidden layers and that's why you call it like deep learning it's like it has a lot of layers so it's kind of a deep view on the layers 
you, these connections between each other um, and the dots are the neurons, let's say, and each neuron has like kind of some activation function to as well as some weight. And here is not illustrate, but you also have a BS, for example, which you can use. It's like kind of some offset, but it should be kept as low as possible. And yeah, these are basically neural nets, but we will see this in the next topics. Reinforcement learning is used in some kind of methods like cool learning, let's say, where you have an agent who is, in this case, the agent, we have like a dog who is in the park looking for his green ball. And so his goal is you just tell him, let's find the ball. So he's model free, he has no kind of algorithm and he's making some actions and movements and each action will be saved like a state. He has a reward after will he will find or he will get closer to the ball and this QL will sum up and then you will have kind of some reward after he will find it and he will do a lot of iteration until he will be really good. This is mostly used for bots in some games and it's really popular nowadays. So thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you like it. See you soon.